Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, she mentions that one night the Prophet وسلم, was not in the bed next to her. And she said, I started looking for him. And of course, because it was dark, she said, I started moving my hand around. So she said, I ended up with my hand on his foot Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his foot was upright, meaning he was in a place of sajda. And I heard the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying, أَعُوذُ بِرِضَاكَ مِنْ صَفَتِكَ وَبِمُعَافَاتِكَ مِنْ عُقُوبَتِكَ وَأَعُوذُ بِكَ مِنْكَ لَا أُحْصِي ثَنَاءً عَلَيْكَ أَنْتَ كَمَا أَثْنَيْتَ عَلَى نَفْسِكَ The very famous dua that we should make every single night, I seek refuge in your pleasure from your anger. And I seek refuge in your forgiveness from your punishment. And I seek refuge in you from you. And I cannot praise you as you have praised yourself. Meaning my praise is always going to be insufficient and your praise for yourself will always be greater, O Allah. This was the Prophet ﷺ in his sajda and there are narrations that are so remarkably consistent about his du'as inside the house and outside the house. And this is particularly where you find the Sahaba mentioning the Prophet ﷺ one time in sujood for so long that they thought he was dead. How long would you have to be in prostration and how still would you have to be for people to think that you were dead? And that was the case of the Prophet ﷺ. And when they asked the Prophet ﷺ what had happened as he raised his head, Rasulullah ﷺ was crying and Jibreel ﷺ came to the Prophet ﷺ and he asked the Prophet ﷺ, Allah has sent me to you to see why you are crying. And the Prophet ﷺ was crying for what? Ummati, Ummati, my Ummah, my Ummah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends Jibreel alayhi salam to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to tell him, سَنُرْضِيكَ فِي أُمَّتِكَ We will please you with your ummah. وَلَا نَسُوكَ And we will not disappoint you with your ummah. That's him on the outside of his house sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. On the inside, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha says, I one time saw him standing up and repeating the same verse over and over and over again. He prayed the entire night with that one verse. But the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would spend the whole night reciting, إِن تُعَذِّبْهُمْ فَإِنَّهُمْ عِبَادُكُ وَإِن تَغْفِرْ لَهُمْ فَإِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ If you punish them, they are your slaves. And if you forgive him, verily you alone, O Allah, are the Almighty and the All-Wise. And the Prophet ﷺ would make dua for us throughout the entire night wasallam. And the most beautiful narration in this regard is one where Aisha says, I saw the Prophet ﷺ one day in a very good mood. And Aisha radiallahu anha, as we've already established, she knows the dua of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and the miracles of her husband sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So Aisha radiallahu anha said, I said to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, Ya Rasulullah, make dua for me. And so she says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam then raised his hands and said, Allahumma khfir li Aisha. O oh Allah, forgive Aisha. Ma taqaddama min dhanbiha wa ma taakhar wa ma asarrat wa ma a'lanat. O oh Allah, forgive all of Aisha's sins, the previous ones and the future ones, the secret ones and the outward ones. SubhanAllah. So the Prophet ﷺ made dua for Allah to forgive everything for Aisha radiallahu anha. Remember when Aisha asked the Prophet ﷺ why he was crying and the Prophet ﷺ explained to her that he was being grateful. And she said, Allah has forgiven you for all of your sins. So Aisha radiallahu anha said when he made that dua, I was so happy, I smiled and then I laughed. And he says to Aisha radiallahu anha, Ya Aisha, are you happy because of my dua? She said, how can I not be happy with this supplication? How can I not be happy with this dua? And the Prophet sallallahu says, Wallahi, I swear by Allah, this is the dua that I make for my entire ummah in every single prayer.